months, you, so for months you've probably, if you know what I comment on people's videos, I probably tell people that they can downgrade their 4S to iOS 6. And I've done so of mine in the past, but the only problem is I've never made a tutorial about it. And on Friday when I tried to, one of the tools that was necessary was down, so I couldn't. But now that's back, but now that everything's back up again today, I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade the iPhone 4S from iOS 9.3.6 or 9.3.5. To 6.1.3. So what you'll need for this is a Windows computer that's running at least Windows 7. Three, a tool called 3U Tools, which I'll link below in the description. If you've never to download, if you've never down download 3U Tool, if you don't have 3U Tools already on your computer, you will need a version. You will need iTunes with working Apple device driver, iOS device drivers, and you will also need three. And in case you're wondering what that is, you'll it should be able, iTunes should be able to recognize your iPhone. And 3U Tools, I don't think it works on the latest version of 3U Tools, so you have to have a slightly older version, but I'll have that link below in the description. Last but not least, you'll actually need an OTA downgrade IPSW link, which I'll also have linked below in the description, so let's get started. So first up, let's just open up 3U Tools. As you can tell right here, here's my phone. So the first thing that you want to do is there will be all sorts of little stuff like this. So you want to press the jailbreak now button, and then we'll go ahead and jailbreak your your iPhone for you. So I will get back to you once it is time to move on to the next. You've this done on your your computer. We'll go ahead and say this on your phone. So go ahead and just click it right here. Click trust. And then you want to go back home and go into the Phoenix app, which will be a new app on your home screen. Click prepare for jailbreak. Uh, no, I do not want a free mixtape. And yeah. And then just click begin installation. Use provide offsets. And it will eventually go ahead and reboot your phone. So I'll be back with you once it's time for the next step. Once your phone is rebooted, it will go ahead. There will be a, another new app on your home screen it's called Cydia. So go ahead and open it up. And it will go ahead and load. It will take a second or t a few seconds to load. So if it doesn't load qu quickly, then I will just go. It might crash on the first try, so you'll need to obviously just open it up again. And I'll be back to you, you once it is. Or maybe not. Maybe it's finished loading. Okay, so once you're done, there will be these little tabs right here, and you want to click on the sor source button, click edit, click add, and you want to go to press, type it exact, exactly as I type, repo.teamstar.net. Now we'll go ahead and just load. Obviously just ignore that because we won't need it on iOS 9. So once you've got the new repo installed, just go into Team Star Bay repo, go into all packages and you wanna find KDFU app, click install, Click confirm, and I'll be back to you once this is done. Just installing it and everything, there will be a new, there will be a new app on your home. You can just go home, and there will be another new app on your home screen called the KDFU app. So first, you want to hold the find bundle thing, then press download IP IBSS, then go to found IPSB, find IBSS, and then go to pwn. Do you? IBSS. So now I want to press the enter KDFU mode and it will obviously say bye bye to your system. Then you might want to re disconnect and reconnect. It will say my computer is currently going to be installing device driver software, so I'll be back to you once that's done. Device driver software and it has gone, and uh, and iTunes 
might will open, so just be aware of that. So now I want to go to flash, flash thing, and then click Pro Flash. Click the import firmware thing, and I would recommend saving the file to your desktop. Click O, and then obviously once you've imported it, click Flash. You can obviously, and then it will go ahead and. Now we'll go ahead and restore. Obviously, just close it. Tunes again, and it will say no iDevice, but please keep this open for this is just normal. And it will go ahead and restore iOS six. And I'll be back to you once this is done. I made a bit of an error there, so you do not want to try to retain the user's data. So you actually want to instead just go click flash mode. Or I'll have to go ahead and try it again, but you'll want to go into quick flash mode. So I'm going to have to go ahead and try it again. And so if you, as long as you click quick flash mode not and not Retain users data mode. You should successfully be running on. You should now be running iOS six, and you will not need a SIM card to activate your iPhone, and show you proof. So you can go into general about, and right here, as you can tell, I'm running iOS six point one point three, and you can obviously now enjoy your iPhone on iOS six point one point three. And if I get to, and I'm currently at 273 subscribers, I think, the last I remember. So if I, so if I get to 300 subscribers before Christmas, I will be switching to Android for a week, and I've been using iOS my whole life. So if you want to see that, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, please drop a like if you like this video, and share this video to others if they want to know how to downgrade their iPhone for us. Is also so. Thanks for watching, and as always. Peace out.